Welcome, welcome again. Um, this film I have prepared for everyone who maybe is the first time trying Kundalini Yoga, who never uh, tried before and would like to know a little bit more. And especially there is a lot of mystery about Kundalini Yoga and what we're doing, why we're dressing in that way, how we're dressing and a lot of things. So this is the video that I have prepared for you. So it make me, I hope it will make you a little bit more, uh, it will be more clear for you. First things that people always ask me is the white clothes. Why we're dressing in the white? I'm not completely white as you see now, but what the teacher Yogi Bhajan was saying that most important was that the colors are natural and that the, the fabric is natural. And why is the white color? It's because the white represents all the colors. So when you're dressing in white, you are, you have the, pre, the your presence is stronger, and it's like you are shining. And when you do this, it's the, it influences also people around you. So everyone is feeling this the, this energy, this and light. The other thing that we often see when you, for example, Google like Kundalini Yoga, what you see first is people with turbans. And maybe also it, you wonder why we do this, why the people doing this so strange? Is this some religion or something like this? Yeah, maybe with a... I'm telling you that it's not about this. Um, covering the head, it's because... We're covering the head because when you practice Kundalini Yoga, if there is a lot of energy going on and when you cover your head there is a seven chakra on the top of your head where the energy we want to keep inside so you feel more connected plus also i really feel this personally when i cover my head exactly i feel more focused and i feel more uh, inside myself if you would like to see how to do this, I have my turban, or this is kind of mini turban that I normally used to uh, use to my practice and my classes. So I will show you how to do. Um, first of all, I take my hair up, and this is also very important in Kundalini that we have hair up. If you don't use the uh, turban, you can just put your hair up. And then, as you see, I have like the piece of the stuff uh, fabric here and then I will put on my head once moving this around the head and one more time yes so in that way uh, you can notice that I have covered the almost my head so normally it would be best if I cover the the whole part but I like like this so the part here the top is covered anyway and now I feel much more focused I oh, see something is coming out here <laughs> yeah we women like to feel good everything is in the place so um, in that way I feel more connected with my share and more, more focused the other thing that people wonder in Kundalini Yoga is why we chanting so many mantras and already from the beginning you feel this mantra and you feel like oh my god i never even understand what they're saying and why i have to chant again maybe this is some religion some praise or something like this mantras yeah this is the part of kundalini yoga and we're doing this because when you're chanting mantra you're actually pronouncing the words and if you even if you don't understand what they mean but the pronunciation it affects your nervous system and all the system when you are pronouncing a word, you're touching with your tongue, your uh, palate, the place, especially the place behind your teeth, and there is um, a meridian points. And when you're doing this, it influences how you feel, how your nervous system are acting, how, oh yeah, how you're acting. So some of the mantras will energize you. The other mantras will put you down and calm. So you can really trust and just follow the teacher because we teachers will know what mantra is for what and also how to pronounce the mantra and experience how it feels for you and the last thing that i will tell you because i mean i'm there i'm sure there's much more things and i hope if there is more question you will let me know but one more thing is that you always ask me what is kriya because i'm saying like today we practice kriya for heart opening or kriya for your digestion 
So what is Kriya? Again, it sounds very strange and not in our you know, normal language, but Kriya is the set of the position. So I will translate this to English like a program. Kriya is a program. So this is why we have program to open the heart or other program working on your on your kidneys, for example. Yeah. So this is a Kriya for open heart or Kriya for kidneys. I hope it's make you a little bit more clear what it's about and uh, what this Kundalini mystical or what is about. And the most important thing is that you experience this. So I really, really suggest you to try the yoga class, maybe with me, you can also try online. I have some <clears throat> online classes on YouTube and there will be much more. You can also try classes with me on Facebook. I'm going to make, and I did already, some live classes. So I hope you can join. And of course, as I promised in my newsletter, I will send you once a month some special practice only for people who sign for my newsletter. So uh, you can feel that uh, I really want to honor this, that people are signed and want to receive some teaching from me by mail. Thank you so much. Satnam.